Hello everybody and welcome to 59 Sunning Hill Avenue here in amazing Hamilton, Ontario on the escarpment. This is uh, my personal residence that I built earlier this year and it is a 2100 square foot bungalow. Big driver on purchasing this property was the overall, not only width of the property, but also depth. It's a 75 by 230 lot. Architecturally from the front schematics, we wanted a very lean uh, mid-century modern design that blended in with the streetscape that exists. Uh, the development is about 50 or 60 years old. Uh, we didn't want the home to stand out and be ostentatious, so we did go for a bungalow design. We projected the front of the elevation on the left-hand side back in order to tie in on the left-hand side property next to us. And we have a front yard projection here that's a bit further forward in order to properly tie in with our neighbors on the right-hand side. The garage is tucked in behind our feature stone wall. Uh, this is a natural square cut Aramosa stone. What I can do is take you inside and I can walk you through the spaces and show you a little bit more. So come on in. Coming in the front door here, we've got a nice entry vestibule, which is very dedicated to visitors and guests. We have a private entry through the garage for more day-to-day -day mudroom activities. Come on inside and I'll show you through the living space. Leaving the entry vestibule and coming into the living room, we've got a fairly substantial 16 foot sliding patio door. Uh, biggest thing is bringing in natural light to the space, uh, but also at the same time, connection of indoor to outdoor activity. We've got a, uh, a pretty neat feature wall on, uh, on the TV side of things here that we ended up doing with Devon cabinetry. Um, all the millwork is custom um, from scratch. We did a Samsung frame TV with a custom Leon sound bar, trying to look for a really clean, cohesive overall design aesthetic for the space. Again, that natural Aramosa square cut stone that you saw on the outside of the home transposes itself to the inside of the home. Uh, so you see the entry vestibule, you also see it here in the living room. And again, that indoor to outdoor connectivity through that cut glass line. The fireplace here is a uh, classic design. It's a Malm unit uh, built in uh, California. So taking a lot of pull and design aesthetic from that mid-century modern inspired design. Um, all the way up to your ceiling, we've got a floss aim pendant, uh, which is a very architecturally focused uh, light fixture to really centralize and anchor this space. through to the uh, open plan dining and kitchen. Um, throughout the space, we have polished heated concrete floors. We went for a very clean matte gray finish. The kitchen was designed to be as seamless as possible. The idea is if you're entertaining, you can actually close down the entirety of the kitchen. So these doors um, basically shut down the space and you end up with a nice piece of jewelry in the middle of the home as you're entertaining. Everything feeds through to a 12 foot main kitchen island with bar seating surrounding the corner. And then again, driven off of entertainment, we've got a dry bar here with wine storage on the dining room end of the space. Again, continuing that connectivity to the outdoors, We've got a beautiful nine foot window as well as a 16 foot sliding patio door feeding through to the back patio space. Pulling up to the ceiling again, light fixtures in this home are a very, very, very strong focus. So instead of relying on very simple pot lights, uh, in the kitchen zone, we did a mix of 11 drop down cylindrical fixtures. Pulling from the curves of the Malm Zircon fireplace unit, we really embraced that archway and introduced it in different parts of the home. Here, the split between the living room space and the dining room space, we've got a really, really strong enhanced archway form. From the wall feature, we also then built that into our kitchen island. So on both sides of the seating zone, you're seeing this very, very strong dominant archway, which is, uh, which is also seen in other features of the home, which we can show you. 
This is the second house we work with Rob and his team over at uh, Sounds Good Audio in Oakville. And so we have full home automation. Um, so from lighting control, blind control and drapery to music and television. Um, the idea with home automation in our life was really to simplify things as opposed to complicating things. And so the idea in working with Rob and his team is how do you live on a day to day and what functions are important to your lifestyle and implementing that into the overall automated system. Stepping into the kids washroom, what we did is we retracted from doing a more authentic tile in favor of a very unique art piece. So this is a custom painted uh, bulldog on the uh, kids wall with the mirrors acting as the sunglasses. So again, very, very clean monochromatic aesthetic throughout the kids space, very easy to clean, very easy to maintain, um, but with some increased level of, uh, of overall design. A roof doesn't have to be boring, especially when they're flat. In this case, we have uh, about 2,800 square feet of roof surface, including the garage, the front porch, and the rear porch. What we did is accommodated four vegetable garden beds here over the master bedroom wing. The rest of the roof surface is covered in a wildflower mix. So there's several different species that'll grow up over time in combination with a a bit of a turf hangout zone for a few patio chairs and coffee table, uh, topped off with an eight kilowatt solar array to harvest the sun's energy, which we're doing currently with this beautiful sunny afternoon. Uh, the idea is to offset our energy use from the grid as much as possible on the uh, roof here. In addition to what you're seeing physically, we've done a super insulated building platform. So we have spray foamed the roof and the walls of the entire home. We've wrapped the entirety of the house in a rigid foam insulation as well as underfloor slab. So the idea is we wanted to invest money into the home now in order for it to pay off over the next 10 and 20 years. This tree is most definitely one of the highlight features of this rear yard. We kept it very, very simple with, a, with an oversized lawn for the kids to horse around in. Um, the, uh, the tree really is an anchor point for the dining room space and provides a bit of privacy. Um, at the same time, really, really helps to enhance that indoor-outdoor connectivity. Um, and it really does make that tree feel like it is inside your home when you're in the dining room space.